Now, the ACLU is alleging that there are major abuses by Border Patrol agents of undocumented children in their custody. Uh, now, Vice reports that the incidences of abuse by Customs and Border Patrol agents have been detailed in a new report released on Wednesday by the ACLU. Uh, this is their border litigation proje project in the International Human Rights Clinic at the University of Chicago. Uh, now, these incidents uh, reports, which are drawn from complaints filed with the Department of Homeland Security uh, Agency and obtained through the Freedom of Information Act, allegedly took place between 2009 and 2014. Now, this is under the Obama administration. So let me uh, get into the allegations of what these uh, border uh, agents have done. Now, it gets into the story uh, of one 16-year-old immigrant who uh, was waiting in her cell. She had a child, uh, and she said that a Border Patrol agent had stood in the hallway uh, of her cell and said, quote, right now, we close the door, we rape you, and fuck you. Damn. So, another separate occasion, an, an agent allegedly threatened to shoot a child uh, in their custody. Uh, and a group of officers also once told several pregnant girls that they'd, quote, come to contaminate this country with all those things. Obviously referring to as their, uh, their to their unborn children, how incredibly pro-life, uh, and said, look at all those other girls. All fat, and I'm assuming also uh, pregnant. Uh, oh boy, yeah, what a terrible thing to come to this country and spare your child from uh, an existence of death and poverty and 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 uh, possible trafficking and rape. What what horrible people! How dare you come to contaminate this country? But anyway, uh, now one border patrol agent allegedly ran over a teenager with a patrol car, and then punched the teen in the head and the body several times. Jesus, man. Another, uh, of course, uh, said disparaging things um, about one of the ch uh, children, saying uh, that they were, quote, a she-male, saying that these people just come here to get a sex change operation. What? What in the world? Uh, really? Wow. Not only that, but they systemically um, put infants uh, in, of course, uh, danger of getting sick and, and dying. Uh, one doctor uh, had told a minor who had recently given birth to keep her premature foreign pound baby away from other people. Okay, that's the doctor's orders, right? So what did the agents do? The agents placed a minor inside a, inside a dirty hold room for two days. Now, the room was full of garbage and people who were sick. Oh, again, super pro-life, aren't you guys? You care so much about the children. You care so much about life. Unless it's their life. <laughs> Multiple minors also said that Border Patrol agents refused to give them milk for their infants. One said her child became sick after agents gave her spoiled milk. And then, when the baby was sick... They refused to give them medicine for two days. Jesus, man. But it gets worse. Well, I don't think you can actually get worse than, than poisoning uh, babies. Uh, but it's also disastrous. Uh, what this is, um, a 15-year-old uh, also said that an agent had touched her inappropriately uh, just days after she saw the same agent put his hand between the legs of another female detainee. So these are these are young women, teenagers. This there's, there's obviously look they're below the age of consent and there is no consent. Uh, so this is gross and wildly illegal. I mean, fifteen and sixteen year old right being sexually assaulted or just plain on assaulted with no care to given uh, given to people who are carrying children or have infants. I mean, this is this is terrible. It's horrifying. Now, uh, I'm going to read a statement here uh, from Mitra Abadullahi. Um, Abadullahi, 
uh, a staff attorney with the Border Litigation Project in the ACLU of San Diego and Imperial Counties. She wrote a blog post accompanying the reports released, and in that she said, The record showed the leadership at Customs and Border Protection were well aware of the allegations of unlawful child abuse. So this stuff happened, they were aware of this stuff, and they didn't do anything about it. Now, this includes people who are still now directing the agency under the Trump administration. Yet there is no indication that any individual official was ever held accountable for this abuse. This was under the Obama administration. Now it's under the Trump administration, and you can't imagine it getting worse. I mean, look, again, I can't imagine it getting worse than this. This is, this is the worst of the worst. Now, these incidents, uh, Ebadullahi wrote, are part of a pattern of physical, sexual, and emotional abuse by Customs and Border Protection officials against child immigrants that existed long before President Trump emboldened the agency by unleashing its officers to enforce his draconian immigration policies. Now, here's the thing, right, about that. We're, we're, we're locking up human beings in cages, like animals. And these, again, these young teenagers, children, are being raped, sexually assaulted, and beaten. This is, this is our border patrol. How does this happen? Well, it happens when you dehumanize people crossing the border. I mean, you know, look, ignore the legality for, uh, of it for a moment. Did they technically commit a crime by coming in the country without authorization? Okay, sure. Does that give you an excuse to torture them? Put them in dirty conditions and put their life in danger? No, it does not. But see, here's the thing. We have... Uh, there's a certain section of the American population that doesn't even consider these people human. I, I hear it all the time. Oh, illegal this, illegal that, right? And it's the result of the right that has been demagoguing them for decades. Oh, these, they're, they're not people. They're, they're dogs. Steve King. Oh, they're like dogs. You got to get the, the, the pick of the litter. You're not going to go with the lazy one, Right? Again, it's disgusting. And um, the reason that they do that is because it makes it easier for you to do horrible things to them. To lock them up, rape them, beat them, kick them out of the country, back to where they'll likely die or get trafficked. Uh, which, of course, there's another report, uh, which, again, this happened during the Obama administration, where some of these uh, children, there's like missing children that have ended up in the hands of traffickers, sex traffickers. What the hell? <laughs> what is going on here? And look, sadly, this is, this is something that's happened uh, in, in human nature before, right? For example, the, what we did to the Japanese in World War II, right? Uh, the Nazis also did this with the Jews, the Turks with the Armenians. I mean, history is filled with groups that dehumanize others so that they can then do terrible things to the group that they dehumanized. I mean, you call them animals and you degrade them, as, as President Trump has, you end up stripping them of their humanity. Well, I, for one, I hate having to remind people that they are human beings. They're human beings, and no human being deserves to be treated in this way. Now, that doesn't mean that we have to let everyone in, of course. That doesn't mean we, should have, we shouldn't have a system of immigration in place. In fact, we should have an immigration system in place. But also, we should acknowledge that these people are human beings and, have, and, and deserve basic human dignity. And it's pretty clear that the Border Patrol is not giving them that. Now, the ACLU report also said that officers will only allowed to use force that is objectively reasonable, and when doing so is necessary to carry out their law enforcement. They're also instructed to treat all individuals with dignity and respect. Well, it is obvious that they are not. Look, we need to bring in some third-party investigators, independent investigators. Uh, we need strict reform of border control. I think we need to eliminate ICE uh, and immigration. 
and, and, and actually do immigration reform that includes a pathway to citizenship. And if we had a real functioning immigration system, by the way, we wouldn't need ICE. We wouldn't have a need for these kinds of detention facilities, which are essentially nothing more than child prisons. We need real reform. We need to fix this system. And we need it now so that stuff like this does not continue to happen. Now, unfortunately, there is a section of this country that is more than happy to let stuff like this happen. Because, again, they, they don't believe that other human beings are deserving of human dignity if they don't look like them. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.